After completion of the west and east tubes, apart from the scene of the accident, we are working flat out on removing the encased tunnel boring machine. After the concrete locking plate was exposed, it was cut into segments one and a half meters in width and up to 40 tons in weight using wire saws. Heavy goods vehicles were then used to transport the concrete elements to the construction site in Ertigheim, where they were crushed and recycled as building material. Once the 1.5 meter thick concrete locking plate had been dismantled over the east tube, work has been ongoing since the start of 2023 to create a construction pit around the damaged area. Diaphragm walls up to 45 meters in depth are being constructed to prevent any groundwater seeping into the construction pit. The construction pit itself will be around 16 meters in depth. A diaphragm wall consists of several wall elements. These elements are called lamellae. Here 83 lamellae will be constructed up to 8.4 meters in length and 1.50 meters wide. Guide walls will first be concreted between which the diaphragm wall grab will then excavate the soil for the lamellae. To stabilize the soil to a depth of 45 meters, the area will be immediately backfilled with a supporting fluid. The first section of the reinforcement cage, approximately 20 meters long, will then be lowered into the slot, down to ground level. The second section will then be filled on top of it and bolted in place. Once the reinforcement cage over 40 meters in length has been fully lowered into the slot, it is filled with concrete from top to bottom via a pipeline. The supporting fluid displaced in the process is pumped off and reused. After four weeks, the concrete has hardened and the lamella is finished. Located along Germany's busiest rail route, the Rheintal Railway, work on enclosing the construction pit has been continuous since the middle of 2022. Around 25,000 cubic meters of reinforced concrete has been used in the process. Before we were also able to construct the diaphragm walls on both transverse sides of the construction pit, concrete parts still in the ground, such as the damaged tunnel tube, had to be removed. To do so, we bored to a depth of 20 meters to clear the rubble and then remove these concrete parts. A total of up to 600 cubic meters of concrete were removed from the ground by this method. Due to its proximity to the Rhine, the groundwater remains a challenge in spite of the enormous depth of the construction pit when excavated. Approximately 80 deep wells will also be sunk in order to monitor the groundwater level. To ensure that the risers do not accumulate dirt, they are coated in a layer of around 3.5 centimeters of quartz sand, which acts as a filter. The wells will be drilled all around the construction pit and fitted with pumps. This ensures that the construction pit will remain largely free of water in the future. After the construction pit was completely closed, a gantry crane was set up in November 2023. At the start of 2024, the tunnel and the tunnel boring machine encased in it will be dismantled piece by piece and lifted out of the construction pit by means of the gantry crane. The east tube will then be completed in open construction. Yeah.